Hello, my name is Healthy Emmy. I'm a weight loss specialist and a nutritionist. And in today's video, I'm going to be ranking protein bars from the worst to the best. If you're new here, I'm the creator of the Slim on Starch program where you work with me as well as a mindset coach and a nutrition coach to lose weight on a plant-based diet. If you want to do that, just click the link in the down bar. All of the bars that I'm going to be reviewing today are plant-based and vegan. A lot of people tend to turn to bars and granola bars and protein bars when they are on the go and they want something fast. And something that I want you to consider is if we are trying to get in food as quickly as possible, as conveniently as possible, and just shove it down and move on with the rest of of our day, get it down as quickly as possible, not really think about what it is that we're eating, we're probably going to get into trouble when it comes to our weight. In many parts of the world, hello, sir. In many parts of the world, meals last hours and hours. And in the United States, we're wolfing down our food in less than five minutes as quickly as possible, not really thinking about the food itself. And then we wonder why we struggle with our weight, right? We need to practice more mindful eating. So that's the preface to this video that I'm not somebody that in general is going to recommend bars. I recommend eating whole real plant foods where you actually take the time to mindfully eat, digest, and assimilate the food in, in its nutritional sense. Especially if you're looking to lose weight, you're going to want to opt for the whole plant foods as opposed to the food products that come in packages. If you are looking to maintain weight or if you're at the very beginning of your weight loss journey and just want to make better choices, then this video is going to be helpful. Or if you have kids or a significant other, then this is going to be helpful for you. Starting out with the worst, sadly, I'm going to have to put Cliff Bars. The reason why I do this, and it's such a heartbreaker, because as we know, they are vegan. And they're, they're quite popular in the vegan world, and especially among the vegan athletes. But unfortunately, if we look at the ingredients list, we do see that the first ingredient that I see here is brown rice syrup, which is sugar. So that's the first thing that's an ingredient. And then we get into having soy protein isolate. I'm really not a fan of isolated proteins. They raise your IGF-1 levels, which is insulin growth factor, and that contributes to cancer cell growth. So I'm not a fan of soy protein isolate. Don't love seeing that in there. And then also we just see more sugar. There's oils added as well. This is not going to be something that's productive, especially to our weight loss goals. Instead, you would want to grab perhaps a piece of fruit instead of this highly processed protein bar. And yes, it is organic and it is vegan, but just because it's organic and vegan doesn't mean that it's A, healthy or B, going to be productive to your weight loss goals. So unfortunately, I'm not going to approve of the Cliff Bars. Next up, I am looking at the no cow bars, which unfortunately I'm not going to approve of these either. Now, whenever I see something like high protein, low in sugar, I kind of get my, okay, let me look into this a little more because usually what that means is that they're going to be isolated in protein. And if it says low in sugar, I'm thinking that they're probably using some sort of sugar alcohol or some replacement, which is really not great on the gut microbiome. And it also causes us to have more cravings later in the day when we do have a sugar alcohol. So let me just pull up the ingredients here. Yeah, so looking at the ingredients list, the first thing is a protein blend. And these really highly processed protein blends are really not great for our liver and our kidneys. We can only assimilate so much protein at one time. And if we take in a bunch of it, then our liver and our kidneys work on overdrive in order to get rid of the rest of the protein and we pee it out. So these highly processed isolated proteins are not great for us and they're really not necessary. We can get all the protein that we need just from eating a whole food plant-based diet. There's also just as I suspected, the sweetener blend. So the erythritol, the stevia, the monk fruit, not a fan of those zero calorie sweeteners for the reasons that I stated. Next up are the one bars. And unfortunately, looking at the ingredients list again, we do see that right off the bat, they have the protein, isolated protein, and then they do have added oils and also added sugars. Added sugars can come in a lot of sneaky names. Anything that ends in O-S-E is going to be a sugar. So if you do see that on the ingredients list, then that's going to be in an added refined sugar to the product. This is why it's just so much better not to mess around with food products and to just eat real food instead because you don't have to take out your 
chemistry textbook and find out what all of these are. So not a fan of these, unfortunately. Now moving into the better category. These are the bars that are a little bit better where, for example, if my significant other was eating this bar, I'd probably be okay with it because it's a heck of a lot better than the other protein bars that he would be eating. So let's talk about some of the ones that would classify as better options. So I found this company called Kai's and they do have vegan options available. They have two vegan bars and they're only six ingredients, almonds, dates, oats, cocoa, pea protein, and sea salt. So I don't love that there's the isolated pea protein, but the rest of the ingredients are killer. And this is a scenario where if somebody is going to eat a protein bar and they are going to have some isolated added protein, this is probably one that I would feel the safest with because it's not soy protein isolate and there aren't a, a bunch of added sugars and oils and lecithin and a bunch of junk that's added it in there. Another better option is going to be the Rise Vegan Bars. The ingredients are cashews, coconut nectar, that's just really another word for sugar. It's kind of like maple syrup, pea protein, and lemon extract. So really awesome that there's only four ingredients. And again, I don't love that we're having isolated protein, but this whole video is about bars and protein bars. So I'm, I'm showing you some better options if you are in weight maintenance or just trying to improve your lifestyle or have a loved one and you just want them to eat a little bit better than they are right now. That being said though, it's just made from cashews, coconut nectar, pea protein, and lemon, which makes me think this is probably something that you could make at home yourself yourself if you have these ingredients and leave the protein out and use some sort of flour or oats in some or something uh, instead of that. You know, if you grind together some cashews and some oats and some maple syrup, you could probably make something similar yourself. Also falling into the better category is the Go Macro Bars. I was really impressed, I was surprised because I see these everywhere and usually if I find a product that's gonna be a really great product, it's not one that I'll see quite often. But I, you know, I see these everywhere and I looked at the ingredients, I was like, okay, not half bad. So of course there is the, the brown rice syrup that's added. But other than that, apples, almond butter, walnuts, oats, a little bit of pea protein and then some cinnamon. So the two things that I don't love are the the added syrup in the pea protein. The syrup I'm not as you know concerned about, more so the pea protein. I just don't love isolated proteins. But if my significant other was eating this, I'd be a lot happier that he was eating this as opposed to something that has whey protein, you know, those builder bars or something crazy that has the added whey protein and at, and sugar and oil and just and the sugar alcohol is just thing after thing after thing that's not optimal for health. This is a better option. The next better option I'm pretty excited about, it's the RX Plant Bars. Now RX Bars, they didn't have a vegan option for quite a while and they have egg whites, which is like, ugh, <laughs> not a fan of that. But hey, to each their own. I'm not gonna yuck somebody's yum. If, if you like that, you go, go for it. But I'm, I'm plant-based here. So the Plant RX bars have really great ingredients. They do have a little bit of the added isolated protein, but like I've been saying, that's the one thing that I'm gonna knock it down into the better category as opposed to the best category. I do love though that they have the plant option and the one that doesn't have the, the eggs added to it. The ingredients are dates, cashews, pea protein, oats, chocolate, natural favor flavors, almond protein, and salt. So another situation where really you could probably make this one on your own. You just didn't add the protein powder to it, just added some more oats. For a lot of these bars, look at the ingredients and see if you can make them yourself. And if you couldn't, maybe it's not one you should be eating. Next is the even better category. Before we get to the best category, this is the even better category. And I have the organic sprouted go raw bars. So looking at this bar, if we look at the ingredients, we have pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, dates, and raw agave nectar and some sea salt. So the only thing, the thing that would put this into the best category is if it didn't have added to it the agave nectar, if it was just the pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, dates, and sea salt. 
but it does have the added sugar, which is why it goes into the even better category because it doesn't have the isolated protein and I'm more lenient about sugar than I am isolated protein, but it is not free from that added sugar. So it's almost there. They should make one that doesn't have the sugar added to it. And now onto the best category, the exciting one. I have three bars that have made it into the best category. And the first one is the That's It bars. The That's It bars are probably my, my absolute favorite bar because they're just made from fruit. It literally, that's it. That's where they got the name from. And you can find these. I've seen these at Starbucks, which is awesome that you could get them at Starbucks. I've seen them at Trader Joe's. You of course can buy them online. So that's gonna be probably my number one recommendation. If I have kids or if you know my significant other's like, I just need something quick. Can you pick me up a bar? That's probably the one that I'm gonna pick up for him. The next one that is going into the best category, I had never heard of before and it is the R bar. Now, not all of the R bars are gonna be approved, but I found this one, for example, the chocolate peanut butter one is just made from dates, peanut nuts and cocoa. Amazing, right? Once again, you absolutely could just make this on your own. But if you have kids and you need to pack something in their lunch, you just want to buy something online, this would be a great option, the R bar. And then the last one that goes into the best category is the OG Lara bar. We all know about the Lara bar. It is just made from very simple ingredients such as dates and cashews, and then they'll add a little bit of flavoring to it, whether it be cinnamon or lemon or apples or raisins or craisins. That's not what I was looking for, craisins. <laughs> cranberries, I don't know. But something to keep in mind is that yes, these are healthy, they're very minimal ingredients, but they're going to be very high calorie. And a tiny bar could be 200 plus calories, 250 calories for a very small bar. So this would be fitting for somebody who's in weight maintenance, for kids, for teens, for those that are looking to gain muscle, look, those that are looking to improve their performance. If you're not focused on weight loss, this would be a great option for you for something to pack in a lunchbox or to have on a long trip. If you made it to this point in the video, comment below what your favorite on the go food is. For me personally, I love an apple. I love that I can just throw it in my bag. I'm not gonna be reaching for these protein bars and these different bars. I'm gonna go for a piece of throat, fruit and I'm gonna throw it in my purse. Let me know what you go for. If you wanna work with me and my team, click the link in the down bar so that we can have you start the Slim on Starch program and I'll see you in my next video. Woo!